Hello everybody, welcome back to Jeff's Computer Service on YouTube. I'm going to be showing you guys today how to use BM Agent. And this is a backup method that is free. There is a paid version, but there's also a free version, a community version. So you can back up completely and restore your computer. For this example, I'm going to be using uh, a virtual machine that I have set up on Hyper-V Manager. So let's just get right to it. I already have a BM Agent installed on this machine. This here is the setup, but these are the files and everything that comes with the system. You can find this in the start. And look for BM. It's right here, and here are all the files. So the first thing that you need to do on how to uh, back up the system is you need to create a recovery media. So once you actually install the BM agent, it's going to give you that option. But if you un uncheck it and you didn't use it, that's fine. You can just do it manually from here using these files. So first, just open this. Wait for it to detect. And here it is. You can, leave, you can keep everything default. You don't have to change anything unless you want to use additional steps, but that's really your preference. So let's just click next. And here, where you want to save it. In my case, I'm going to be doing this in a shared folder that I have set up. So I'm just going to put in the credentials and everything for the share folder. It's going to be using the host name of the other machine that I that I have set up. In this case, it will be the, the physical machine. Add the host name, the username, and the password. Now I'm just going to browse for it. And here it is. Files. It's good a few seconds, something it takes time depending on your internet connection. Back up that, click here, save it, give it a name, or just leave it default. I'm just going to leave it default. Okay, and there we go. There's the pad, the credentials. Now we can just click max. Gonna take a few extra seconds. There we go. The summary of what's gonna happen. Now you just click create. Now once this is done, we can begin to the next step. So it's just gonna wait for this to finish. Just fast forward. Okay, here it is creating it, and it has been done. The recovery media has been created. This recovery media is gonna be used to re restore the machine that you have back up just so you know you can also use this recovery media for other systems that you have already back up so it's really useful if you don't have one you can even create one so now that that is done what we need to do next is just back up the system so in this case it says show hidden icon here's the BM agent I made a backup already, but in this case, we're going to set up a new one. So let's add a new job. Oh, that's right. This is the free version. So we're just going to configure the settings again. Okay, so I'm remove this one and make a new one. So now add a new job. Wait for it to scan. Uh, give it a name. Let's just keep it like that. Let's say, uh, Name of this PC is literally a uh, PC B3. Backup. Twenty twenty four. You can also do a description if you want. I'm gonna just put it as simple as I can think of. Backup. Now let's just click next. Now here, 
this is just this is mostly preference if you want to back up the entire computer that's going to include the entire system and also any internal drives that you have set up even external drives or if you want to do it separately with volumes or file level my recommendation is just using the recommendation that it says there in the entire computer system because it will literally restore everything so i just keep it like that so just click on next now in my case since i don't have a external drive and this uh physical this i'm sorry this virtual machine i'm going to be using a shared folder that i have already set up if you have a server and want to use the repository you can do that as well but in my case it can be a shared folder Click next now the path for the folder in my case this is the pad and as you can see the ISO is already there so we just copy this paste it right there this pad requires credentials so I'm gonna have to put this now the name of my computer in this case the host name the username which would be my name and the password Now, we're just going to click on next. You can keep everything default unless you have you want to change it to lower days as well. So let's just click on next. It's going to take a few seconds to find it. And if it does find it, we will move on to the next part. There we go. So now here you can just change it however you want. If you wanted to begin every day at 12 weekdays take it from here or on specific days if you want to do Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday really mo mostly of your preference you can do it once a week daily but in this in the in this demonstration it's gonna do it every day and at that time you know, I'm just gonna apply the settings that's fine just click OK it's gonna continue now in here, it tells you the summary of everything that has been done, the destination, where it's going to be going and everything, the schedule, and, and that's it. So I'm just going to click run the job because so, I want it to run right now so it does begin to back up. So let's just click on that and finish. Now we're going to see it. It's going to do the backup right now. So I'm just going to wait here and wait for this to finish and I'll be right back. Fast forward this. And there we go, the backup is already done. You can just close that out. It's still going to be there on the background. So if we go back to the uh, share folder, it's going to be right here. New folder was created, and here it is. This is the backup. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. This is going to be a two part video. This, is gonna be, this was part one. I'm going to be making part two on how to restore this backup. So do check on the description for the part two. And again, guys, uh, have a good one. Thanks for watching.